The mechanized units are an important part of the Swiss Armed Forces. The training of individual soldiers, but also exercising entire units, is highly complex and elaborate. Therefore, a large portion of training is today conducted with simulators. Toon, the gateway to the Bernese Oberland, houses not only Switzerland's largest military training area, but also the modern simulation center for mechanized units, MTC. Battle tank and armored personnel vehicle crews, as well as advanced artillery fire control officers, do their basic training at the mechanized training center, MTC. That amounts to more than 1,000 military persons annually. Battalion Carder is trained from platoon leader upwards to battalion commander on the ELTUM, the electronic tactic simulator for mechanized units. The Leopard Battle Tank has the following crew members. One commander, one gunner, one loader, one driver. The commander in the turret directs the battle tank. The gunner aims and fires the gun. The loader is responsible for the weapons being loaded and ready for firing. Finally, the driver, he drives the tank. All these crew members can be trained virtually at the MTC in Toon on various simulators, but also practically on the real system. For future tank drivers, the MTC offers the most modern learning methods. In these driver's cabs, the drivers practice all manipulations and get to know their future workplace. The complete Leopard Battle Tank hull facilitates understanding of the complicated technology. Even the engine can be properly started in this system. The Leopard Battle Tank Driving Simulator is definitely one of the technical highlights at the MTC in Toon. Here, future tank drivers learn how to handle the heavy equipment correctly, both on and off-road. They obtain confidence and routine without using fuel and without causing damage to the landscape. Training is personalized. In other words, each individual driver carries out his own personal program. If weaknesses are registered, the driver is obliged to do respective exercises in order to progress in his training. The simulator enables profound and efficient training with no risk or pollution whatsoever. Negative. 
die Situation links abbiegen vom Panzerfahrer. In the auditorium of the driving simulator, introductions or reviews can be held with the tank drivers in the plenum. Of course, the other tank crew members also benefit from a profound training. The commander, the gunner and the loader practice on the turret training system. This revolving simulation system is a genuine copy of the real Leopard Battle Tank turret. Here, the all-decisive interaction between crew members can be drilled. The trainer maintains an overview of the exercise situation and directs the lesson. The commander gives orders for the crew. The gunner aims his sights at the target and fires the gun. The loader loads both gun and machine gun. The shells used for practice are equal in size and weight to the real ones. In the revolving cabins of the training system for the commanders and gunners, the commander practices rapid target acquisition and allocation. The gunner practices pursuing the target, measuring range and firing. With the help of the thermal imaging device, night situations can be trained too. The electronic fire simulator for the Leopard tank, for short, Elcelio 2 we Here, commander, gunner and driver are schooled. Pre-exercise briefing and post-exercise review are held in the technically outstandingly equipped auditoriums. At the MTC in Toon, two platoons can work with the simulators simultaneously. Practically every conceivable situation can be simulated with the new simulator systems. In the case of the electronic fire training system, El Celio 2 we the driver steers the tank from a non-specific driver's cab. In the El Celio 2 we simulator, the tank crew experiences a great variety of situations. The realistic portrayal of the surroundings with 360 degree projection causes you to rapidly forget that you're merely on the virtual terrain of a simulator. The exercise director monitors the exercise from outside. He's able to intervene as friend or foe, introduce difficulties, risks and special situations into the exercises. The loader also comes under pressure during electronic fire training. The weight of the practice grenades, again, are realistic. When simulator training has been completed, the final two phases of training follow. In Bure, in the canton of Jura, combat training is now practiced under live conditions. No shots are fired, however. Hits can be indicated with a laser system. At last, the final training phase. 
In Hinterrhein, the tank crew now practices live fire for the first time. The exercises are commanded from the exercise directing tower and immediately evaluated electronically. Simulators can never portray reality 100%, so they cannot completely replace training on the real system. The latest simulation technology helps to mitigate the burden the population has to bear due to noise pollution by armored units, to minimize environmentally harmful driving, and to make armored core training attractive, versatile, and above all, efficient. The armoured personnel vehicle has the following crew. One commander, one gunner, one driver, and not to be forgotten, of course, the eight armoured grenadiers in the passenger hold of the APC. Apart from the combat grenadiers, the entire crew is trained at the MTC. The commander in the turret commands the armoured personnel vehicle. The gunner aims and fires the gun. The driver drives the tank. The crew of the armoured personnel carrier is located at the rear. Commander, gunner and driver can be trained at the MTC both electronically with a simulator and practically on the real system. Driver simulators for APCs are available for use by APC drivers. As soon as a driver has logged into the system, personal training begins. In other words, each individual driver carries out his own personal program. If weaknesses are registered, the driver is obliged to do respective exercises in order to progress in his training. The simulator enables profound and efficient training with no risk or pollution whatsoever. One hundred and eighty degree projection and hydraulics movement system convey a sense of genuine driving. Drivers thus gain confidence and routine without consuming fuel or damaging the landscape. The exercise director monitors the system and only intervenes in extreme cases. Special driving situations can also be viewed and discussed in the plenary in the auditoriums. The majority of gunners and commanders are trained in the APC gunner room. The gunner manipulations are drilled on the simulator guns so that later they can be carried out correctly in the turret trainer. For theory too, there are computer workstations for both groups and individuals. Heute geht es darum, die richtige Fachgesellschaft zu stellen. Wenn du mich steigen machst, 
Commander and Gunner do their practical training on the turret simulator. As soon as Gunner and Driver are familiar with all the details and able to operate their instruments reliably, they start electronic fire training. The APC crew is schooled on the electronic fire simulator for the APCs. In the auditoriums, orders are issued and debriefing is held after exercises. The APC driver is integrated into the crew during basic patrols and platoon exercises. During electronic fire training, he steers the APC from an unspecific driver's cab. In the virtual reality of the simulator, commander and gunner have to find their way through complex situations. The exercise director monitors the exercise from outside. He's able to intervene at any time, can introduce difficulties, risks and special situations into the exercises. At these workplaces, Grenadier team leaders and chiefs of dismounted units train their command and control activities. Baumgruppe, rechts begrenzt, hellbraunes Haus. Tre, piccolo, Stellungsraum, Weg, Mitte, rechts, Vorraum, links begrenzt, hellbraunes Haus. Rechts When the simulator training has been completed, the final two phases follow suit. Combat training is then trained under realistic conditions in Bure in the canton of Jura. But there is no live fire. Shooting is simulated with a laser system. Finally, there's the last training phase. On the Wichlenalp in the canton of Glarus, the crew of the armoured personnel vehicle practices live fire for the first time. The exercises are directed from the command tower and instantly evaluated electronically. Simulators can never portray reality 100% so they cannot completely replace training on the real system. The latest simulation technology helps to mitigate the burden the population has to bear due to noise pollution by armoured units, to minimise environmentally harmful driving, and to make armoured core training attractive, versatile and, above all, efficient. The artillery is the most important weapon for combat at the tactical command level. Artillery is engaged in support of task force units at brigade level or at the level of infantry or armoured combat battalions. The artillery is called to fire the right ammunition with the right density at the target at the right time. To accomplish this mission, the artillery has its fire control officers who direct the supportive fire. 
Two types of fire control officers are trained at the MTC. The mechanized ones who work with the Ford Observer Vehicle 2000 and the motorized ones who have equipment for target survey and observation. The MTC does not train fire control officers for UAVs. The Ford Observer Vehicle 2000 has the following crew. The fire control officer, a surveyor or observer, an IAFCS signalman and a driver. The motorized fire control officer has the same crew but he operates from fixed locations and is less mobile than the mechanized fire control officer. The fire control officer, a junior officer, is team leader. During operations, he's the tactician. The surveyor or observer is in charge of the navigation system and observation equipment. The IAFCS operation signalman is responsible for all issues relating to communications of the Ford Observer team. Finally, the driver who drives the vehicle. The electronic Ford Observer training system enables training of fire control officers and the surveyors or observers in their role as Ford observers. To begin with, orders are issued in the auditorium. Later, the exercise director can intervene in the exercise at any time or modify the parameters of an exercise. In this way, new and exciting situations develop for the students again and again. With 360-degree projection of the virtual terrain, it's possible to portray a great variety of situations. For example, reconnaissance, intelligence service, target reconnaissance, and engagement with the realistic portrayal of fire, and of course, the analysis of effects. All exercises are recorded and can be evaluated and discussed in an auditorium or in one of the classrooms. The artillery units are usually centrally directed from the fire control center. All fire control and transmission, intelligence and logistic processes are directed or sustained through the IAFCS, the Integrated Artillery Fire Control System. The MTC offers the same infrastructure as the fire control center. Here all IFCS functions can be trained. A further important element of the artillery weapon system is the fire control center. Here fire orders given by the forward observer are processed and transferred on to the guns. Fire orders are processed with the Fargo fire control computer. For training such activity, the MTC has a respectively equipped classroom.
The meteorological platoon transfers the weather parameters it has obtained via IFCS to the fire control centers. With this data, the flight path of the shells can be adjusted to the weather conditions in the target area. The complex processing and relaying of weather data is trained in the artillery weather room. Genuine combat training takes place in Bière or Bure. Artillery live fire training is carried out in the Simplon area or in Bière. Simulators can never portray reality 100%, so they cannot completely replace training on the real system. The latest simulation technology helps to mitigate the burden the population has to bear due to noise pollution by armored units, to minimize environmentally harmful driving, and to make armored core training attractive, versatile, and above all, efficient. Efficient training of battalions and combined arms warfare can only be carried out to a certain degree on Swiss military training areas and shooting ranges. Because of more restrictive area planning, environmental and noise regulations, as well as the growing sensitivity of the population towards pollution of any kind, it is becoming increasingly difficult to satisfy the training demands of the latest weapon systems. The financial resources available for operating the real systems are continually diminishing. The electronic tactic simulator for the mechanized units, abbreviated as LTAM, enables specific and environment-friendly training of our militia leaders. LTAM can be used for a wide range of training types at various levels, despite the fact that the focus is on training battalion and company cadre. LTERM unifies all relevant functions and skills for tactical training of commanders and staff members and is suitable for practicing standards and operational procedures relating to tactics and communication at the various hierarchical levels. <laughs> LTERM allows any exercises to be carried out in a computer-generated area of approximately 1,600 square kilometers. More than 400 objects, military and civilian vehicles and aircraft, persons and terrain sections can be displayed in the virtual terrain. The main players in the exercise have a 360-degree external view of the battlefield and quadrophony sound at their disposal. Co-players have monitors providing views of the terrain, monitors with situation maps and the menus required for giving orders. One, three, on torta. Thus, the platoon leaders give orders for their subordinates into the simulator and the resources are brought into the terrain, visible to all participants. Uh, 
With the key members of his staff, the battalion commander directs and fights from the command vehicles of the command and control echelon. Apart from an extensive understanding of military issues, Kader have to develop their intuition so that in an instant they're able to get the feel, the grasp of a situation in order to make consistent and practical decisions. The company commander's battle area is integrated into the exercise. He must circumspectly play his role with his resources while interacting both spatially and temporarily, adjusting his operations to those of his comrades and always observing the intentions of the battalion commander. The exercise director doesn't require any actual understanding of the simulator and is able to apply his or her accustomed training methodology to the simulation. The exercises are not predetermined. Their course results from the behavior of the practicing units. As the systems allow realistic training conditions, the typical course of an exercise in the open air with genuine forces and in genuine terrain can be simulated by the simulator almost one-to-one. -one. Detailed IT-based recording of exercises reveal behavior, intervention and techniques of commanders and their staff and support training review and post-exercise briefing with sound and vision. By working and learning with the simulator, CADA members are forced to come to terms with challenges, resolving problems, operational procedures, weapon systems and mission accomplishment. We follow the exercise of an infantry battalion. An alle von Übungsleitung, Übung beginnt. The adjustable combat environment, genuinely stressful conditions, realistic work environment, flexibility and immediate intervention potential of exercise directing staff make it possible to experience and school high-risk situations in a realistic artificial environment. Carter get to know what their actions trigger and to bear the responsibility for these.
The mechanized units are an important part of the Swiss Armed Forces. The training of individual soldiers, but also exercising entire units, is highly complex and elaborate. Therefore, a large portion of training is today conducted with simulators. Thun, the gateway to the Bernese Oberland, houses not only Switzerland's largest military training area, but also the modern simulation center for mechanized units, MTC. Battle tank and armored personnel vehicle crews, as well as artillery fire control officers, do their basic training at the mechanized training center, MTC. Battalion Carder is trained from platoon leader upwards to battalion commander on the Eltham, the electronics tactics simulator for mechanized units. Before the tank drivers are allowed to drive the tank, they are trained in a driving simulator. Its driver's cab corresponds one-to-one -to, -one to the real tank. With hydraulic movement system and 180-degree projection, real driving situations can be practiced without danger and without emissions. Commander and gunner practice working together in the laser cabin. Okay. Basic training of turret crew, commander, gunner and loader is carried out on the turret trainer. With the electronic fire simulator for the upgraded Leopard tank, the tank crew is trained in a virtual terrain. Exercises with several tanks are possible. The drivers of armored personnel vehicles train in the APC simulators. Computer-generated obstacles are virtually overcome with the aid of the hydraulic movement system and convey to the driver the feeling of really driving. Training of commander and gunner consists of theory and a lot of practical training sessions on various training simulators. Drill-like weapons training is necessary for manipulations to be carried out correctly later. The turret trainer corresponds exactly to the APC's turret. Manipulations and cooperation between commander and gunner are practiced with it. Subsequently, commander and gunner are trained on the ELSA-S electronic fire simulator. The terrain is simulated through 360-degree projection. The exercise director supervises the missions and is able to influence the simulation at any time. Aliambos, Beobachtung Standard. SEO.
Motorized and mechanized fire control officers and their surveyors are trained with the ELSA S electronic fire simulator. In the virtual environment, they have to search for their targets and pass on the target data to the fire control centers. The system makes a video and audio recording of the entire simulation. During debriefing, the exercise director discusses the completed exercise with the forward observer team. The Fargo room simulates the fire control center. Here, trainees practice the use of the fire control computer. The data provided by the fire control officer are transmitted from here to the guns. All fire command and control processes can be schooled at the artillery training installation at the MTC. The cadre of a variety of battalions can be trained on the LSAM electronic tactic simulator. Cadres practice tactical standards, various operational procedures and communication at the different military hierarchical levels. With the battle area reproductions, the trainees have insight into a virtual terrain comprising an area of 1,600 square kilometers. They must lead their troops during operations and respond to enemy campaigns sensibly. Exercises in such dimensions are practically no longer feasible today. LTAM makes it possible to carry out such virtual exercise scenarios in an extremely realistic manner. The simulators of the mechanized training center in Tune enable efficient, sustained, and above all environment friendly training of soldiers and carders. What cannot be simulated at the MTC is trained at various firing ranges and combat training areas throughout the whole of Switzerland.